The World Health Organization declared the novel coronavirus as a pandemic on March 11, 2020. A pandemic is described as an infectious disease where significant and rapid ongoing person-to-person -person spread in multiple countries around the world can be observed. Outbreaks have been reported in more than 165 countries with more than 2,46,000 confirmed cases and over 10,000 deaths being reported as global stock markets continue to falter. Case counts of the coronavirus have risen sharply in places like Italy, Iran and South Korea. Here's how the new coronavirus became a global pandemic. COVID-19 originated in the city of Wuhan in China. It is home to an estimate 11 million people and it is here where the health officials believe that the new coronavirus originated and eventually spread across the world. On the 1st of December 2019, a patient in Wuhan began to show symptoms of viral pneumonia. That patient is believed to be the first documented case of the virus. Throughout the month, a series of pneumonia cases from unknown causes emerged in Wuhan. Symptoms included a fever, labored breathing and a dry cough. At the end of the month, the Chinese government informed the World Health Organization of a cluster of pneumonia cases in Wuhan. Between 31st December and the 3rd of January, a total of 44 cases were reported to the World Health Organization. Many of the patients were found to have visited an open-air seafood and animal market within the city. Chinese authorities shut down the market and on the 5th of January, the World Health Organization reported that the infection could be the connection to exposure to live animals. According to the Chinese state media, scientists discovered that some patients were infected with a new strain of coronavirus. Coronaviruses are a large family of viruses that include common cold. On the 11th of January 2020, China reported the first death from the disease in Wuhan. Concerns grew about the ability to contain the virus. Wuhan is connected to other major Chinese cities by nearly 22,000 miles of high-speed rail and connected to the world via an international airport that transports 24.5 million passengers a year and connects to 30 cities around the globe. On the 13th of January 2020, one person was confirmed to be the first case of the new coronavirus outside of mainland China. A Chinese tourist travelling from Wuhan area was found to have a fever after arriving at the airport in Bangkok, Thailand. Over the next week, cases appeared across Asia and in the United States as well. According to the World Health Organization, on the 23rd of January, there were 581 confirmed cases globally. As health officials announced that the virus can spread between humans, the Chinese government cut train and air travel out of Wuhan and three other cities, effectively quarantining the cities in an effort to contain the spread. With over 7,800 confirmed cases, the World Health Organization declared the coronavirus as a global public health emergency, indicating that authorities believe that the virus is a significant threat beyond China. A week later, the World Health Organization officially named the disease COVID-19. The name is an abbreviated form of coronavirus disease 2019. On the 17th of February 2020, the number of new cases reported by the World Health Organization rose sharply after the Chinese authorities changed the criteria for diagnosing the illness, raising concerns that the virus is speeding up, not slowing down. Up until this point, the vast majority of cases that have been confined to mainland China. But by the 24th February, new cases flared up in South Korea, Italy and Iran. The virus continued to spread globally with Italy announcing a record number of deaths and Spain reporting a similarly alarming death toll. On March 8, 2020, Italy places all of its 60 million residents on lockdown. On March 11, 2020, the World Health Organization declared coronavirus as a pandemic and US President Donald Trump bans all travel from 26 European countries. By the 19th of March 2020, authorities reported more than 240,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 globally, 
with about 145,000 being active and ongoing cases, roughly 85,000 recoveries and over 10,000 deaths. Here's how the coronavirus has affected India. On the 30th of January 2020, the first case of COVID-19 in India was confirmed in a student who had returned from Wuhan University to Kerala. On the 2nd of February, a second case was confirmed in Kerala. The individual travelled regularly between India and China. On the 3rd of February, the third positive case was reported in Kasaragod in Kerala. The patient had travelled from Wuhan. All three have since recovered from the infection. On the 2nd of March, the Union Health Ministry reported two more confirmed cases, a 45-year-old man in Delhi who had travelled back from Italy and a 24-year-old engineer in Hyderabad who had a travel history to the United Arab Emirates. On the 12th of March 2020, India registered its first death due to COVID-19. A 76-year-old man from Kalaburji, Karnataka, who had a travel history to Saudi Arabia, died on the 10th of March and later his sample tested positive. As of the 20th of March 2020, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has confirmed a total of over 200 cases and 4 deaths in the country. COVID-19 continues to spread and impact communities around the globe as health officials monitor the disease and try to find out ways to curtail it. Most people who become infected experience mild illness and recover, but it can be more severe for others. Take care of your health and protect others by doing the following. Wash your hands frequently. Avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth. Maintain social distancing. Practice respiratory hygiene. If you have fever, cough and difficulty in breathing, seek medical care immediately. Stay informed and follow advice given by your healthcare provider.